All right, guys, welcome back to more Back to the Future, the game. My name is Raven from the Sky. Thank you for your support. Let's do it. Uh, uh, what's happening? I don't know, unless uh, tomorrow's newspaper. Do you still have it? Yeah. Local accountant beaten, left for dead. Local accountant Arthur McFly was severely beaten and left for dead on the steps of the Hill Valley Courthouse last night. They're going to kill my grandpa? Tannen's goons, no doubt. Probably in retaliation for Arthur answering that subpoena you delivered. What are we gonna do? I'm not sure what we can do. According to this, your grandfather was dumped on the doorsteps of the courthouse five minutes ago. My dad's picture is disappearing. That's the time stream catching up with your grandfather's fatal wounds. Which means your father will never be born. And I knew you. Yep. Unless. When did you last see your grandfather? Four o'clock, in the town square. Let's give him enough time to make his deposition. Right. We'll have to be careful not to run into ourselves. That shouldn't be a problem in your case. I mean, you were in jail. All right, let's get moving before the police find us. Freeze! Ah! ah. Step out of the car with your hands up. Wow. How? We have to go around to the passenger side. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. Shoot. Well, looks like I caught me a fugitive. Carl Sagan, the speakeasy arsonist. A legend speakeasy arsonist. If you don't mind. Oh shoot, we gotta What the heck kind of buggy is that? Stay back. It's a prototype still untested. Liable to blow up at any moment. I can't let him know oh, I'm here. Suddenly take off but that's where the keys morning. are. That's so. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. <laughs> shoot. That's where the keys are. What is it, some kind of foreign job? A German or something? Not at all. This is solid American workmanship. That's right, Doc. Keep him off balance. Now I'm sure something's back there. Oh, crap. We gotta get them keys. It's like something out of Buck Rogers. A year from now, everybody will be driving these babies. Why does it keep backing us into the darn... I wouldn't be surprised if there's a promotion in this. You're huh. getting to be a valuable commodity in Hill Valley. That's very gratifying to hear. I hope you okay. don't mind cooling off a few minutes till reinforcements get here. I don't mind, but the car may have other ideas. What was that? What was what? Crap! I heard something back there. I think you're mistaken, officer. <laughs> I'd like to get a closer look at that getaway car. What's that? Off in those bushes. Huh? I didn't hear anything. I thought it was my henchman returning, but you're probably right. It was nothing. Henchman, you say? Hmm. There it is again. I think the night air is playing tricks on you, officer. What was that? I didn't hear anything. Hmm. Okay. Hey! Stop! Doc! Go! Save your grandfather! I'll be fine until you get back. You got it, Doc. Was that? I think in the original movie, he ended up meeting his parents or something like that. He had to get his parents to like each other or something. And I think his mom ended up liking him or something. It, it's, that was so long ago. I want to see that again. 
Artie's gotta be in there somewhere, spilling his guts to the DA. There he is! All I gotta do is get to him before- Mr. Crockett! Oh, boy. I was wondering if I could do a little follow-up interview with you about the plight of poor Mr. Sagan. My sources indicate that Judge Brown will be setting him free tomorrow. I wouldn't bet on that. What's that? Nothing. Listen, can we talk later? I've really got to get to the courthouse right now. Really? Why? My grandpa he needs me as a character witness to get a fishing license. Oh, well then, carry on. And do put that vicious dog of yours on a leash, will you? We have laws about that sort of thing, you know. Sure, no problem. Ah! Oh, oh. Ah. oh, come on, yesterday, Marty. Stop talking. Get moving. Einstein? Oh, no. Einstein, what is it, boy? Shoot. Sit. I need sit. He's already sit. He's already sitting. Crap. Crap. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Einstein. Dude, that's really going to mess up the space-time continuum. Is it a squirrel, Einie? You want to play? Okay, let's play. Want the stick, boy? Want to chase it? What are you up to, Einie? Go on, boy. Einstein. Oh, my. Bad dog. Oh, come on, Einie. Okay, let's try this again. Um. Is it a squirrel, Einie? <laughs> Go get her, Einie. You! Oh, get this mangy animal away from me! Oh, come on, Einstein. Get away from the nice lady. My shoes! Einstein, no! No! Way to go, Einie. Now, to get into that courthouse and grab Artie before Tana's guys. Ah! Uh, uh. I don't think he's gonna follow us if we're disappearing. And... <laughs> Hey! Oh, God. Um, hey! According to my calculations, the rotary engine for a full-scale rocket drill requires 1.21 kilowatts of power. Can you check over my work to make sure? Are you all right? Yeah. Yeah. But I need to get to Arthur. Why? I'll say he needs help. He might try to come along, too. I have to brief him on what to say to the DA. Oh, are you the legal expert now? Come on. Shouldn't we be getting on with our work? We're on a strict deadline, right? Shoot. Sure. You start without me. Turn around and start walking and I'll... I'll catch up to you in just a few minutes. Huh? No. Oh my god, what the hell is that? What's what? Oh my! I'm talking to. I'm talking to you. No, I, I mean before, while I was walking towards you. I wasn't talking to anyone. I was working on equations for my rocket drill. Uh, no, I mean after. Uh, never mind. Let's get going. Follow me. I thought I'd never leave. At least now I have a clear shot to the courthouse. Okay. Or do we? He's looking right at us. Do we really have a clear shot? We do. You got 
gotta come with me. Look, you're in a lot of danger. What do you mean I'm in danger? No time to explain, Gran. Oh, Artie, just promise me you'll stay at the police station until- Artie McFly. Just oh. the guy we're looking for. Hey, fellas. Run! Get him! <coughs> oh! Artie? Uh, I better pick up their trail before I start fading out again. Shoot. Which way did he go? Clear. All right, McFly. Let's go see the boss. I looked away from the screen for a little bit. That was actually <laughs> off of just reflex. Buddy, how's my favorite accountant doing? Oh, I've been better. I'm so sorry to hear that, McFly. Trixie, take a powder, doll. We got business to discuss. K.O., you boys play nice now. Mwah. Nice to see you again, Artie. You too, Miss Trotter. Yeah, yeah, we're all happy as clams. Now scram. Are you guys stupid? What are you thinking? Bringing this fish food to my doorstep. We just thought that was your first mistake. Thinking. Look at me. Do you ever catch me thinking? Huh? That's why he's so uh, stupid. Don't answer that. Look, just drag him inside, find out what he told the DA, then get rid of him. I think we can handle that. Good. Now, if you don't mind, I've got an arsonist to snuff out. And well, he said, look at me. You ever catch me in? thinking? The problem. Right, We have to so get in far, here. So huh. We got to hurry get in up. There quick. Yeah. But we can't just walk in. So we got to figure something out. Okay. Small crate. Large crate. Contents one winged goddess, winged goddess locked. Of course, contents one winged goddess. Oops, flanged sconces, snazzy. What do you want? I'm here to inspect your place for rats. No, you ain't. Scram. Darn it. So much for the direct approach. Right. I could say, kids. Let's see. But he's seen my face. You again. I said scram. Uh -huh. I really don't think I'm getting in that way. We weren't going to get in that way to begin with. Um... I can't think of. I could say. I could have said I was a salesman, but. Yeah. So, how are we going to get it? Let's see. Right. Lid. I should probably put something in there to replace the broken merchandise. It's a box of classy sconces.
I can't open it. Should put something in there to replace the, the merchandise, but what? You again? I said scram. I really don't think I'm getting in that way. Hmm. Nice fit. Here goes nothing. Get the crease, cue ball. Stir the soup, cue ball. Clean out the blood stains, cue ball. Shit. I'm not a gangster, I'm a freaking butler. Now, which one of you guys goes in first? Jeez, for a gal with no arms, you sure is heavy! <laughs> Whoops. Ow! Do you mind? I'm trying to conduct a professional interrogation over here. Where should I put this? Just shove it behind the bar. I'll just shove you behind the bar. Mm. Come on, Artie. Jeez, how much chloroform did you put on that rag anyway? Why? Because I'm having a hard time bringing Sleeping Beauty here around. Uh, Let me uh, see. Uh... Hey, Artie! We got a few questions about you and the DA. DA, day, D, E, D? Mm. You see what I'm working with here? <laughs> Seems to be catching. Zane, wake up. Oh, sorry, boss. The stupid cold's got me wiped out. <laughs> well, try to stay awake long enough to finish that poster, will ya? We got a club to open in a few days. And turn off that sign, would ya? Just a bunch of misfits. Wake up, sleepyhead. Can't take that. Zane would know something's up. Wake mm -hmm. up, sleepyhead. Ooh, no wonder Artie's so out of it. Okay, uh. Seven, twenty-three, thirty. Hmm. A combination to a lock? Hey! Hey! What was that? Must be some wiring problems with the emergency button. Ah! <laughs> oh, stupid cold. Not till he's gone. I'm just gonna see. Oh god. Crap! It. Okay. You're trying Boy, this my patience, Artie. This is a puzzle. Still okay. Still can't get Trixie's nose right. Ink bottle, panic button. There was a sheet of paper or something down here. I don't want to waste my chloroform on that. Dermot's Canadian whiskey. Let's see. Nah. <laughs> Dude, we just put. Oh, hey, guys. I don't feel so. Zane. Wake up, you lazy bum! 
Must have been the cold. Cold my eye. He's been dipping into the inventory. The inventory. One more on down. Two to go. I hope the Sisters of Mercy approve of our redecorating. <laughs> okay, we got one down. Uh. The only thing I want to break this bottle on is one of those goons' heads. Hey! hey. You hear something? I hope the Sisters of Mercy approve. Matches! Crap. <sighs> what... what happened? You got knocked out. Okay. 120 proof. Whoa. I hope the Sisters of Mercy approve of our redeck. Ow! Aye, aye. What the? I think we blew a fuse. Well, go up to the soup kitchen and get a new one. Why me? You'd rather hang around and talk to this guy, huh? Three days are here again. Yeah, I'll just go. <laughs> okay, so now we got rid of him. Because he would have just kept waking matches back up. Every time we knocked him out. So that takes care of him. Come on, Artie. So now that up. only leaves matches. You're sleeping your life away. What do I spy with my little eye? Word games? Bam! Right in the kisser. <laughs> For about 40 years. Is anyone Whoa. down there? Everything's spinning. Come on, Artie. Let's get out of here before these jerks get a chance to kill you. Wait a minute. They were gonna kill me? <sighs> Great. This isn't funny, guys. Is anyone down there? timing hang on grandpa we've got a pickup to make need a lift I thought you'd never ask ah, what's he doing here it's a long story Ah, oh, son of a... And then I carried Artie to the DeLorean and came back to get you. Fascinating. So we can go home now, right? Not yet. We still have this loose end to tie up. No, don't tie me up again. He's coming around. So please be careful. You won't be safe in Hill Valley as long as Kit Tannen remains at large. Don't worry, I'm going far away from Hill Valley, and I'm never coming back. No! He's got to hook up with Grandma. What's her name? Uh, it's Sylvia. You know a woman named Sylvia? No. Well, she knows you. We'll know you. It's vitally important that you two meet. Oh, I get it. You want me to be part of some undercover sting operation. No, oh, possibly. Yeah. Are you G-Man? Uh -huh. Something like that. Sure, <laughs> anything for Uncle Sam. I'll stay nearby and wait for this Sylvia. But in the meantime, I'll lay low. Good man. When can I expect to see you again? 
That was a close call. You think he'll be okay? You're not fading out, are you? Besides, Arthur will be completely out of danger come August 25th. August 25th? That's the date Kid Tannen is finally put behind bars. How's that picture of your dad? Still there. Good. Let's get out of here before we accidentally elect Hoover to a second term. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, everything looks okay. Are you sure? See, they fly residents. So, want to come in? Maybe hang out a while? I want my dad to see for himself that you're still around. I'd love to, Marty, but... You've got to go. I understand, Doc. You've got a life to lead, and kids to raise and all that. No, I've got to go to the bank and stop that estate sale you told me about. Oh. Oh. You go find your pop. I'll be back within the hour. See you soon, Doc. All right. All righty. And we're going to stop it here for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Back to the Future of the Game. If you like this episode, do me a favor. Drop a like and subscribe to help the channel and the series grow. My name is Raven from the Sky, and I'll catch you guys in...